In 2022, the hype for carbon plated shoes is definitely not dying down. However, it is shifting away from just marathon focused shoes and entering the kind of 5k, 10k racer realm, as well as trainer racer hybrids, and even the track and trails. So let's go ahead and take a look at what trends are in store for super shoes in 2022. So let's start with the kind of regular super shoes slash marathon racers. So in 2022, we'll continue to see marathon racers evolve and get some minor or major tweaks depending on the brand. It seems that most marathon racing shoes that have it maxed out to that 40 millimeter stack height that is the world athletics limit will be doing so in 2022. One good example of this is the Saucony Endorphin Pro 3 where it's getting some extra stack height to go up to 39.5 millimeters. However, there are some shoes that won't be increasing, like the SC Elite V3 from New Balance. It's keeping its stain stack height, I believe, where it's gonna be around 36 millimeters in the heel. However, I don't have 100% confirmation on that, but I think that's what we'll see. Overall, it seems like the Marathon Super Shoes is kind of plateauing, kind of maturing a little more, or we're not seeing some drastic changes and it's more tweaked uppers, some more durable outsoles, and some tweaked midsole and plate geometries. Next up is a category we'll see a lot more of in 2022, and that is the carbon plated trainer slash racer, or super trainers for short. So this category is going to kind of combine either shoes that are heavier or not as aggressive as some of those lighter marathon racers, or the shoes that have stack heights that are higher than the 40 millimeter limit set by World Athletics. So two shoes that were originally marketed as kind of training companions to their speedier marathon racing brothers are the New Balance Fuel Cell TC and Nike Zoomfly, where they both had carbon plates and some type of more bouncier responsive foam but they were not as light, not as responsive. They were designed just to use for your training runs and then you save your fancy expensive shoes for race day. But now it seems like shoes like this are getting bigger stack heights, which is kind of a trend that Adidas's Prime X shoe started with its 50 millimeter stack height and double stacked plates, which makes it illegal for any world athletics competition. However, there's a lot of people that love to train in it or amateurs that love to race in it. In 2022, we'll see this category grow with shoes like the New Balance SC Trainer, which is a replacement for the Fuel Cell TC. And this is gonna have a thick stack height of, I believe, around 47 millimeters in the heel, a more aggressive carbon plate, but it's designed to be a training companion to your super shoe for marathons or a shoe that maybe the pros wouldn't choose for a race day considering it's illegal and heavier. The Zoomfly 5 also seems to fit in this category in 2022 thanks to its addition of Zoom X in the midsole. It still has that carbon plate. It's gonna have a thicker stack and it's gonna be a really good training companion for most people yet can still handle race day. So, so far, all the shoes we've talked about have been aimed at longer distance races like the marathon. However, in 2022, we're going to see shoes that are focusing more on the 5K and 10K. And I think Super Flats is an applicable name for these shoes since they're going to have lower stack heights for today's standards, but still a lot of that super shoe DNA. So one of the first Super Flats on the market was from Adidas, and that's the Takumi Sen 8 and it takes a lot of what you'll find in the Audios Pro 2, but shrinks it down to a 33 millimeter stack height in the heel, some thinner, smaller carbon rods on the bottom, and a more simplified, lighter upper. Other brands will follow like the New Balance with their SC Pacer and Nike with the Zoomax Streak Fly, though this one won't have a carbon plate unlike the other ones I've talked about. Plus, Saucony even has something in the works for either 2022 or 2023 for a super flat. To me, though, I find it kind of funny because it seems like we've made a complete circle considering some of these super flats have a lot in similar with the first generation super shoes like the Vaporfly 4%. I'm pretty sure these two shoes have super similar stack heights, and so it's kind of seemed like these shoes are getting thicker, while 
the 5k, 10k style shoes are going back to more of these first gen racers. So it's, it'll be interesting to see how they kind of differentiate the original marathon racers from these new 5k, 10k racers. So one trend we saw emerge in 2021 was super spikes thanks to the Olympics where there were carbon plated spikes with super foams and I have a whole video talking all about that but go ahead check that out and let's just say that the trend will continue in 2022. And finally in 2022 we're seeing more and more trail shoes come with carbon fiber plates and super foams. So we saw some shoes like the North Face Vective and the recalled Saucony Endorphin Trail, which both had carbon plates. But in 2022, we'll see shoes from Hoka, like the Tecton X, which has parallel carbon plates and a softer foam. And we'll see the Endorphin Edge from Saucony, which may be a replacement for the Endorphin Trail, but it's lighter and ha still has the super foam and carbon plate thrown in there. One thing that seems to be a little different about these trail shoes is their plates seem to be designed to give you a little more lateral flexibility, but still giving you that nice forward momentum. So as you can tell in 2022, the carbon plated super shoes are not going anywhere and they're extending their reaches into most of the categories of running shoes. I think I'm personally excited about some of the unique trail offerings and some of those super thick super trainers. Which category are you most excited about or do you think that this carbon plated running fad has gone too far? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my reviews of these shoes and as always, keep on running.